where you at if you been in shit? Go ahead to youtube.com backslash waterway TV and subscribe to that shit. Yeah, you know the waves in it. Baseball we're hitting a home run hitter with the coldest rings. And even on my bad days, I'm a clutch to finish. The track diminished, the booth burnt hands is itching. Damn. I went to school because I was transferring from Santa Monica College at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was going to go to MSU, but then I saw the pricing. And I was, I was going to play football too. So mm -hmm. like, I talked to some of the coaches, but then it's just like, do I really want to give up what I, you know, kind of just started versus going to listen to somebody every day, wake up at 6 a.m., yeah. practice practicing? So I just went to South Central College instead. Yeah. And um, that's actually where one of the reasons why I started doing this, because it's like I'll, I'll never forget her name. Her name was Roberta Morehouse, and I was a marketing major, and it was her final year teaching, you mm. know, and I was just telling her about my business and in the beginning of the year, that's when I started my shoe brand. Obviously, it didn't pan out the way I wanted it. But then I remember I told her my second business idea, you know, and that was design. Mm -hmm. And I'll never forget. It was like one of the last days in class. And I was just showing everything, my website, my business cards. And she was really shook and astonished, you know. And she was just like, like having a discussion about marketing. And, you know, usually in class, some people aren't paying attention or don't really give a shit. And. I was probably one of those people because I was just like listening or whatever. But then she said something like that really just like took off because we were doing a research paper on like Best Buy, Target, how they do their marketing, how they make sales. And I remember she had a question talking about like tracking people's IP addresses and like how to run ads and stuff. And she went through the whole spiel and like I was the only person asking questions. Mm -hmm. And there's at least 40 people in this class. Mm -hmm. So literally for 10 minutes straight, it's like she was teaching the class but i thought she's only talking to me you know mm -hmm. and that's when it hit and the final word she said is like yeah chris you can do this too you know if you really like put the effort and try like i really can see you doing this and she said that in front of everyone so it's just like kind of crazy that sometimes it takes somebody to kind of like give you the extra push because before i wasn't pushing it as much mm -hmm. like i was just kind of doing the basic whatever but that lit a fire under me you yeah. know and i dropped out of school the next semester Shit. literally so just started putting all my focus on this because i looked at school as you should go to school if you have an idea of something and mm -hmm. you want to see what fits for you or what can work for you in the future yeah if you have an idea and you actually know business this, this i'm not telling people to drop out or nothing but if you it's hey, a, it's a new world. You, exactly what you're saying. You you never know because if you're doing it the right way and you're seeing real numbers, like you know, I'm not just saying like, oh, I sold like 100 shirts this year. Like you know, I'm a blow up. No, like you gotta be consistent. See the numbers and actually be like, yo, I'm making as much as if I had a degree, bro. Yeah. Like yeah. what? Experience Without the debt. And, and yeah. even even if it's not all profit, yeah, bro, I just touch that number. Like that's crazy to think about, you know. So like, if you can do it like that and like see the difference mm -hmm. then i would say school isn't a good fit for everybody but i yeah. would say it's still a good fit to start i'm not yeah. saying like you gotta finish still go to school to get an idea because yeah. that's what i did mm -hmm. you know that's how i knew the marketing and took off with my business so school is just really dependent on the person yeah but i i will um go back to school and just finish college just because like I would love to like work for like YouTube or something, Facebook, like do like an internship so I can really, like really work with like the bigger brands mm -hmm. and like see the other thing. Cause I will say school is a great connection. Yeah. And I said, that's something that kind of puts, maybe puts you ahead of some other people with a willingness to like put in a few more hours just to, because you might be able to meet someone someday that may be able to put your brand in a bigger position in a better light. But I have a very similar opinion on school. Like your story is very like, creepy how similar it is to my story like <laughs> i was in a class when i came when i was doing a, i was in a business law class because i was a marketing or management major business administration management major whatever and i was in a business law class and we were doing a project on uh we we're record labels signing artists so like we at one i was on the side of the school of the classroom where people were the record labels and the other side of the classroom were the music artists so we had to find an artist that basically was looking for the same amount of money that we could afford and that we were looking yeah. for. And while I was doing that, like we, it was like just like kind of fun and super simple. And I was, I had a couple of friends, Calvino, J uh, Jugman that were made music. And I was like, and I vlogged and I was like, you know, like kind of got a little record label going on here yeah, in a little yeah. sense. So I started like drawing and like, lo lo I always drink water. So like water was there and I was just like water wave, like water, like water's the new wave, like, of, like be becoming healthier and whatnot. So I was like, it's kind of like a little double double meaning here and whatnot. Yeah. So I started drawing like the water bottle and whatnot. And then like directly after that class, I went to the computer lab and made it. 
and then I dropped out of college that fall. I went for one more semester because that was my freshman year. I came back first semester of sophomore year and everybody that I had met in college, we dropped out of college and moved to Dinky Town. So I went to school with the idea of I want to own a business. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do a business major. I played football in River Falls and and so did a few of the other guys that we started Water Wave with. And we I had came up with that idea in class, presented it to them. I was like, yo, like. I don't know what this is going to be, but like, I think if we start with like, just like vlogging our studio sessions, interviewing as many rappers as we know, like at that time, I only knew probably like five people that made music. So it's like, I didn't know how big it could get. Yeah. Um, Cause I'm from Mankato, went to River Falls, never spent really any time in the cities at the time. So I didn't realize how big it was, but then we started taking trips from River Falls to Minneapolis, like once a week to interview people or to just like go shoot photos at a yeah. concert that we heard of that we got someone replied and said, yeah, you can get a media pass and whatnot. And we realized we're like, we all have our own creatives that could that could build off of this brand so we dropped out moved to minneapolis and planned on going to like mctc similar story to like yours and then um i ended up just not going because the classes weren't ready and it was just kind of a good excuse to be like oh i don't want i don't have to go this semester and then just never went back um so yeah school is definitely like a good tool but only use it as long as you need to i'd say like if you're fortunate enough to where your family is like wealthy enough to pay for the whole thing and whatnot, like definitely take advantage oh, yeah. of that. Take advantage. But of that like, for if sure. you are in a point where you have to pay, you know, thousand dollars out of your own pocket, like obviously in loans and debt over the years, like definitely just go for the time being, meet the people you want to meet. And as soon as you find that group of people you like, and you learn those few things you have and you see some progress or some love ambition for what you want to do, you don't need school anymore. Okay. Like you obviously like a backup plan to get a job would be cool. But like if you spend four years, like right now, if something happened with water wave where we just stopped, we didn't do water wave anymore. I would all, I would like to think that I could probably get a marketing job or a, a, a like a, some type of like a graphic design job, video job with a big company because I've been doing this for four years now. It's like I basically have you know? a degree. So like mm-hmm. you, you run your business for four years. It shows some growth. Now you can basically get a job doing what you did for this business for a business that needs help in that alley. So it's not, yeah, it's, you have to work harder for sure facts for sure I have to work harder than just going to school but but yeah like that's yeah pretty similar story pretty similar sort opinions of.